After getting to know so much about automation and the future of making, it's time for us to get an industry perspective on it. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Kazuo Hamaji, Global Business Development AEC Autodesk to explain what the future holds for architecture, engineering and construction. With 9 billion people, oh, sorry, give me the slide. Sorry. <laughs> Let me start. Sorry. With 9 billion people expected to live in cities by 2050, there is a huge opportunity for the AEC industry to design and construct the buildings and infrastructure needed to support this mass migration. But how do we do this in a way that generates less waste? Or how do we adapt practices that is more effective and productive? You may think that manufacturing and construction industries are very different, and their productivities are quite different. However, if these two industries, technology, comes together, we can raise the productivity that we have never dreamed before. To imagine that possibility is why I'm here today. Earlier today, you heard about Van Bynen and then how they are reimagining their business by embracing automation to become more productive. They are doing this by leveraging ideas from manufacturing, like modular construction and generative design. Like Van Vinen, many customers in the construction world have already started taking advantage of manufacturing process. What do I mean by that? This is the actual video of a manufacturing and assembly process at an automotive factory. Amazing. And this is a typical photo of a construction site. Just look at the difference. If we can adapt the manufacturing process in its modular way, it will radically change our industry. We call this convergence of manufacturing and construction. Here's an example. This is a company called Factory OS in California, USA. They change the way they think about designing, engineering, and constructing by working off-site in a factory where the components and modules are manufactured and assembled and then taken to the construction site for final installation. And they reduce waste by 90%, increase productivity by 30%, and eliminate the number of injuries by a factor of four. Just think about that. How many of you would like to see those numbers reflected in your business? And how do we make this a reality? The manufacturing of buildings it's the next big disrupting idea in our industry. It will radically change the way we design buildings, make their components, assemble them on site, and manage the process and its data. This transformation will require all project stakeholders like designers, engineers, fabricators, and contractors to adapt the new methodologies. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this idea in more detail. You may have heard of this term before, DFMA, or Design for Manufacturing and Assembly. This is a well-established approach in markets such as automotive. It's about designing to support a manufacturing process. How does it work? Here's a hospital example from Nordic Office of Architecture. Imagine if 
a smart assistant could help the architect to focus on the design, on the way buildings are built and delivered. A tool that uses specific criteria and previous experience to help designers to create a library of standard, but as configurable modules. To approach, this approach doesn't mean that all the modules must be the same. The next step will be to look at all of the modules, identify similarity, and reduce the number of patterns to streamline the process from design to manufacturing and assembly. The final step is to decompose the modules in multiple elements that they can either be purchased from a manufacturer or sent to a production tools so that they can be fabricated. The individual modules are combined further into bigger cross-discipline assemblies that hold fabrication intelligence and assembly instructions. Now that you see how manufacturing process can change the way we design buildings, what will the factory of the future look like? Maybe something like this. This animation shows a factory that is mass producing concrete modules for the buildings. Would you like to see this kind of technology in your factory? Well, at many factories, it is already happening. This company, Grayform, is based in Singapore. And they're already utilizing building information model to drive the production and automation of the components, like precast concrete panel. And the product they are manufacturing at this factory is not just the components, but what they are producing is actually rooms with walls and necessary equipment all installed in the factory. And they deliver it as a uh, the product to the construction site. That's the way of the future of factory, don't you think? On the other side of the future, there is the 3D printing. We believe this process can also contribute to mass production. And we are working with a firm called x to streamline the process of BIM to 3D printing of concrete. Once we use these revolutionary technologies, we can actually move the factory to the construction site. So let's talk about the construction site. Construction site of the future will become increasingly automated. Imagine an assembly line on the construction site, not in the factory. Assembling not constructing the building parts on the project side will drive greater efficiency. There will be less waste and therefore less impact on the environment. Robotics will also have the ability to transform how we actually install on the site. It will help us become more efficient and accurate in the execution of work. And this isn't just a science fiction. This can be your reality very soon. Just take a look at this video. A technology from Australia, a robot laying bricks. This is the future of construction site. Speaking of the future, we know that remote surgery is already available. So why not remote construction? Here's a good example of leveraging cloud, VR, and robotics to envision the future of remote construction. So now, we have identified three core ideas from manufacturing industry. Let me share another technology that supports manufacturing industry. That is Internet of Things, or IOT. In the manufacturing industry, it is becoming more common to measure the real-time performance of the products, like cars. We want to do the same thing for the construction site. 
Our goal is to collect IoT data from multiple sources and visualize them on building information model. So there will be a single way to look at the data and run big data analysis on them. Our goal is to track environmental conditions like temperature or humidity to predict mold, for example, in addition to people, machines, materials on the site. Once we do that, we can really understand the performance or lack of performance of a construction site. Here's an example. Pillar Technologies is using sensors to detect problems on the site. In this visualization of their data, you can better understand safe versus unsafe of the zones at different times of the day and run reports to understand these changing conditions over time. Autodesk is per partnering with a, with a firm called Triax Technologies to address safety challenges at the job site with wearable sensors that collect and transmit real-time workforce and safety information. We can visualize workers, for example, who had an accident and found an unsafe condition and evacuated. We can also visualize sensor data from cranes to better understand loads and safe zones. It's incredible to see how building information model can be powerful by combining the data from the IoT devices. So how do you start? Moving to this, more automated future begins with BIM and a cloud-based common data platform for collecting the data produced from your 3D design model or from the construction site. When you add the power of the cloud to BIM, that changes everything and opens the door to more automated ways. We call this connected BIM, or BIM plus the power of the cloud. At Autodesk, we are working to develop technologies that allow you to put the data at the center and connect the digital and physical aspects of your projects. Let me show you how. This year, we launched one BIM 360 platform. This is a unified data platform that can connect data for the entire project lifecycle. All of our authoring tools like Revit, InfraWorks, Civil 3D, or AutoCAD can feed the data to this platform. And because the platform is built on developer platform, Forge, third-party developers will be able to add even more data, such as simulation results, cost, scheduling, and IoT data. And finally, all processes from design collaboration to pre-construction, site execution, and handover will be on this platform. This platform is the center of the connected BIM process, no matter who you are, what you do, or where you are on the project. With your data in one place, you open the door to more automated ways of working, like manufacturing of buildings, for design at factory and on site. These technologies will transform our industry and your business. So, final words from me. Think of how robotics and automation have changed automotive production and the resulting improvements in the cars we drive today. Think about the automotive manufacturers that embrace new technologies and become successful. And think about those who did not. Imagine how leveraging automated ways of designing and constructing might impact your business and help you address the challenges and opportunities that you're facing now. How much more can you do with less resource for better products? 
What can you design? What can you build? How can you transform your business? Your potential is limitless. I'm deeply excited about what we can do today and in the future. I hope you are too. So let's build the future together. Thank you.